Okay, tell me this does not look like I'm a boy from this angle. I got sweatpants on, a shirt, and as I like to dub it, a Linnea coat. Tell me that I do not have like the boy clothes on in that view because I'm convinced. Hello, welcome in mean canal. Um, hello, my name is Madison. Welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel. And today I'm here to do my 2023 language goals. I have filmed this video once before and it was so chaotic. And me saying it was so chaotic really does mean something because I, as a person, can get very, very chaotic, especially when it comes to my YouTube channel videos because my personality just, like, like goes away from me. Like, it just comes out. Um, but it is now a week later. I have watched that video over and quickly decided that I was not going to put that anywhere near the internet. Um, and it's also 10 o'clock at night and my mom is about to go to bed. So hopefully I can keep the energy levels down to a reasonable amount and I hope we just have a good time. You know, I am not going to talk about all of my goals for 2023. I did set a few when it comes to working out and being healthy to YouTube for you guys and for me. Um, and I also have some studious goals because I'm starting college in 2023, January, I actually will begin. Um, and so when you look at me being a full-time YouTuber, I would say, um, I don't make money yet, but like a full-time YouTuber, um, a part-time librarian assistant or whatever my technical name is, um, and then a full-time college student plus a language learner and a daughter. <laughs> 2023 is going to be a big year and we're going to see if I fail so bad or if I succeed and fly with the stars with James Potter. We'll see. We'll see where I land up. Am I going to be on a regular black scale or am I going to be like James Potter who's the sun scale? Like, we're going to find out. I'm so excited to find out with y'all. Um, I love Harry Potter. So let's just get into this we're only going to talk about my languages that i'm learning in 2023 and they're gonna my goals are gonna be ambitious y'all trust me i know i will also leave a link down below to one of the channels i found while finding these language learning goal videos i found a couple of them that i just like i'm obsessed with now so i'll leave a link down below go check them out they seem pretty freaking fantastic Let's get into this. So, 2023 language learning goals. I did kind of set this up a little bit like Lindy. I have another page where it's set up nothing like Lindy. I have fully done several goal setting methods to try and get these the most accurate as I could. Um, and I'll put some pictures up here on the screen while we do this. So, what are the languages I'm going to be learning in 2023? As I said, I, I I started learning Swedish about 135 days ago, and I will definitely be continuing that into 2023. In fact, I found the Swedish version of Harry Potter on Amazon. It's only on Kindle because hardcovers are just like or actual physical books of it are so expensive. Um, but I found the Kindle version, so. That is just like super exciting. So obviously I'm still going to continue reading and learning Swedish so I can then read Harry Potter in Swedish. I have been wanting to reread Harry Potter recently. So that's maybe I can try and hold off until I get to a nice level to try and read it in Swedish. I don't know. Um, but I'm obviously going to be continuing with Swedish, but I'm also going to be continuing learning ASL, which is American Sign Language. I am learning American Sign Language because I feel like part of me owes it to 7th grade Madison who started learning it um, and really liked it, but didn't even try to learn it to pass a few words and then made up signs with her friends like yo what's up you know like she didn't learn a lot so I feel like part of me owes it to that Madison but then also I work at a library and one of my co-workers he is deaf so I want to be able to talk to him I want to ask him I wish oh my god I wish I could have asked him about the uh world cup for football soccer you know I wish I could have asked him just had you watched it but I didn't know how to ask that and I also want to ask him if he's seen Avatar too because there is sign language in there it's Navi sign language not ASL or anything which I think 
is a little bit of a shame, but it's okay. Um, I want to ask him stuff like that. And so I just need to get, I just need to learn vocab words. So I'm obviously going to be continuing with ASL. Now, the other two, mm -hmm, yes, I did, I did say two. So when you add the two I've already started learning officially to the two I'm going to start learning officially, you get four? Yeah, I know, I know. You're thinking, what the heck are you doing, Madison? Madison doesn't know about, she doesn't know where the line is drawn in the sand. You know, the hurricanes in Florida, they came, they washed, they washed that line away. She doesn't know where it was. I'm pretty sure she walked over it when she decided to start learning two languages at the same time. Um, four? Mm -hmm. No, we're so far past the line, guys. We don't even know. And um, just, just be supportive. Okay, because the other languages are Russian, <laughs> which I'm excited to start learning because it's when working with Megan when she's learning Korean and I'm learning Swedish and we meet up and we study. I'm just like so jealous that she gets to learn a new alphabet, which is like really ridiculous, I think. But I'm just like so jealous of her getting to learn a whole new alphabet system. And I'm like, I want that. So, 2023 will be my year. I'm also just super, super excited to start this language because, I mean, my favorite book of all time, Vita Nostra, was written originally in Russian. So my goal is to one day be able to read that officially, which I will need a very, 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 very high level. It's not, it's not like Harry Potter, y'all. It is dark academia, but it's not like Harry Potter, okay? It is confusing in English, okay? So I don't even know what I'm going to do. But I love that book, and it's like very much so the reason behind me wanting to even start learning Russian is so I can eventually read all of their books in the original language that is Russian. So, and then the final one on this list is really on here because I'm unsure how I feel about this language. I, part of me really, 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 really wants to learn it because of how useful it would be to know. The job opportunities it would give me for the field that I am looking to go into would be astronomically great, okay? But then the other part of me is like, you study this for three and a half years in school and you hate it so much. You just dislike it so much. But then again, the other part of me is like, yeah, but you know how everybody says schools teach that language bad. Well, I don't know why the other part of me just got an accent, but it did. And it's just like, I don't know how I feel about this. So I just decided to pull the plug or I guess to plug, I decided to put the plug in and see if we can get this baby off life support. And that is Spanish. <laughs> this is the final language on this list for 2023 that I'm actually like going to attempt. Of course, I might get bored with all of these languages and then for one day decide, you know what? What is the Japanese like sentence structure? And I might just look that up. I might learn a few words in Japanese. I don't know. That's a possibility. That's always a possibility. But for my actual active interests, this is the final one, which is hard to say because the interest is very, very minuscule. And I think I'm just going to have to spend this year learning it, see if I can maybe revive anything any possible shred juice of interest that I could maybe possibly have in this language and see where it goes because right now I really really dislike it and I don't want to dislike any language maybe aside from French I don't know I don't I mean I don't like hate it but like <laughs> you know what I mean it's French um <laughs> I'm joking I'm joking uh but I just I just I, I I never, this language never really got a good chance from me. I never put any effort into it in high school aside from the bare minimum, which I regret now. Um, and I just think that it would be a shame to let this language go without actually giving it a try, which is why it's on here. I'm not going to be doing very much of it because the other three languages are my main focuses and I will talk about my main focuses for the year in a second. So obviously this one's not going to be get a main focus, but I'm just going to spend the whole year, like, I'm going to put 55 hours into it, the year, roughly, I mean, 
there might be some weeks I don't study it. Um, but I'm going to do my best to put about 55 hours into this language. And I think 55 is enough to decide if you actually want to make it an official study of yours or if you want to say, screw you. Oh, wait, screw you. Yeah, there we go. <laughs> you know what I mean? So that's why these Spanish is on here. And um, I hope that made a little bit of sense. I'm kind of dabbling in it but like not because when you dabble in something you're like are you really going to learn it but then again maybe you're dabbling in something to figure out if you really do want to study which is what i'm doing in spanish i'm not making much sense but go with me here go with me so let's talk about the priorities so this might seem a little bit fishy but my priority for January at least for quarter one is going to be Russian and ASL this is the priority for quarter one January February and March Swedish is going to be third priority Spanish obviously final priority and this is because I just did a 90 day language learning challenge that I quickly found out was not something I'm into for Swedish so I'm kind of I don't want to say burnt out because I'm constantly like I want to know more I want to speak more Swedish but I just think maybe I should take a little bit of a break and maybe in February I'll decide like let me pick up the steamboat on Swedish but for January for sure Swedish is going to be third priority right above Spanish but with very much less hatred towards so that is like my priority languages the priority language i think for the year is going to be russian um but we'll definitely see how that goes but for quarter one russian asl spanish or russian asl swedish and spanish those are the priorities that i have them written in and scheduled out and everything like that so what are my yearly what's my overall goals for the year so we'll start off with swedish uh i want to learn the tenses okay there's not many tenses in swedish I, that's at least that's what a legume guide or i don't know if there's an end but langum langum guide my grammar book that's not a grammar book for swedish says that there's like not many tenses and that they're like really easy to learn and i just need to learn them okay because i learned like viet which means to know but it can also be viste in some sentences. And I want to know why. I need to learn why so that I can actually not sound like an idiot when I speak. Um, so that's the main goal is to learn tenses. And then my other goal is to write sentences in Swedish and then upload them to Link. I have Link until August. I will make a video when my year long subscription is over on how I feel about Link because I have opinions. Um, but because of that, they have a community feature where you can upload stuff to the internet and then people can go through and like who are natives hopefully natives and they can correct it and so that is something that I really really would like to do I would I wanted to do it within my 90 day challenge but because I just used my 90 days so inefficiently I knew very 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 little and they say like even if you know like few like three words make a sentence out of those three words but like I don't want to upload those three words to link until I have maybe like six words and three sentences. Then I might upload them to Link. So those are my main goals for Swedish. I would also love to, by six months to be able to watch episodes of Hey Ninja without subtitles because they're incorrect with understanding a majority of it. Then for my next goals, because I have it in my head, Russian is going to be the utmost priority for the year. I have kind of a higher goal for it compared to Swedish, which is funny because I've been learning Swedish for longer, but that is to master the Russian alphabet, which I don't imagine will be too difficult. I just need to like sit down and make effort. I have been saving YouTube videos for months though on the Russian alphabet, one of which is like learn the Russian alphabet through some type of social commentary or something like that. And it looks like it's going to be great cross your fingers that it is great because it seems very interesting and I would love to actually watch that video and I, I would just like to master the Russian alphabet which I will be one of the first things I do and then secondly to read Russian fluently <laughs> and this one could kind of be stretched a little bit because obviously I'm not going to know every single word in anything that I read in Russian by the end of the year unless I'm just that talented. <laughs> but I would really, really, really like to be able to notice all the, like, the alphabet letters and make the sounds, like, read fluently. 
I hope we all know what that means. I'm not entirely sure I know what read fluently means, but you know. Then for uh, Spanish, uh, if you, one of the channels I link below mentioned this for French, and that's just to stop hating the language. Will I stop hating the language? I don't know. That's why it's hanging on a cliff, you know? And then I went to uh, listen to one audiobook in this language a month. I have Libby and on my library we have a language section and a Spanish as a, as a genre that we can listen to and read. Um, I'm not reading any books in Spanish, but I will definitely try and listen to some audiobooks. I'm not going to understand what's going on, but it's just going to be a uh, comprehensible input and stuff like that. And I can do this for Swedish and for Russian on YouTube, not on Libby. My library is a small town library. We don't dabble in any other languages aside the ones most spoken in my town. So I'd like to listen to one Spanish audiobook a month. Just one because i I'm just gonna put it on in the background when I'm doing other stuff just to listen to it and kind of get a feel for how the language actually sounds. Okay, and then um, for ASL, super basic goal, I just wanna learn more vocab. I wanna be more expressive in the language. I wanna be able to actually speak tomorrow aside from a good morning, you know what I mean? Um, that's all I have to say for ASL. Yeah. So now I'm just going to give you a quick view of the picture I have for what an ideal weeks would look like. Um, this, like I said, is ideal. I don't know. I haven't got my schedule for the first few weeks in January yet, so I can't really plan anything out like I want to. But ideally, this would be the schedule. And then um, another picture I have is where I put the languages like dot system, Lindy Boats' uh, dot system. And so this is what it looks like right now. I put stars next to the primary languages. And it was really hard because I'm not very good at any of them. So like ASL is probably like one. But I feel like I know more words in ASL than I do Swedish. I don't know. They ba they battle out. So I couldn't just give it a one and a half. That's still a lie. So just go with it. So yeah, that's what the dots are. And this is what I want it to be at the end of the year. I want to go from baby in Swedish to three dots, which I would say is probably like B1, B2 in Swedish. Russian, I want to have two dots. Uh, ASL, I want to be four dots in. ASL, I think throughout the year, I'm going to try to become very, very fluent in it. Um, and I think it's doable, definitely doable, because I mean, once you get the sentence structure down for all of these sentences, really, all these languages, you get the sentence structure down. You're Gucci, you know, but ASL, just need to learn the vocab. And then Spanish, I just want to. I'm just learning it to see how I go. Maybe I'll ditch Spanish by the end of the year. Your guess is as good as mine. And real quickly before the video ends, because this video is a lot longer than I thought it was going to be. Guys, I don't I don't I don't do scripts, okay? We are going to go over the amount of time in January I'm going to spend on each of these languages. February might be different. We'll have to see how this works because I'm going to start school in like the middle of January is what we're aiming for. So this is like the thing. Russian, I want to do five hours every week in it. ASL, three. Svenska, three. And uh, Espanol, one. So that would equal a total of 12 hours a week, which is a lot. Originally, I had it down to uh, 11, but then when I was doing this, I bumped it up one more so that ASL and Swedish were on the same level of studying per week. So that's my goals. I'm sorry that it was a very long video. Like I said, it was longer than I wanted it to be or anticipated, but please go check out the channels down below that I linked. Um, tell me your guys' goals. What languages are you learning? Because I really love knowing what people are learning. That's why I've watched so many goals for 2023 language learning videos. It's just because I'm like, ooh, what are you learning? <gasps> what are you learning? <gasps> what are you learning? Like, I'm just like grabbing everything and putting it up here. Instead of instead of learning languages, I'm watching people learn languages. That's a goal to change in 2023. Like, get rid of it. I would also like to find some language buddy partners. So if you want to be language buddy partners, hit me up in the comment section or DM me on Instagram. Like, I don't care where you like talk to me. Just like, you know, if you DM me on Instagram, maybe say like, yo, I know you from YouTube. I'm learning whatever languages. I promise you I'm not a creeper please. And thank you. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching this video. Subscribe, like, do all those fun things. And I hope I see you guys in the new year. I hope you had a Merry Christmas and uh, have a happy, happy new year. I work this weekend. So, <laughs>
is going to be a very, very slow weekend at the library, probably, no doubt. But yeah, love you all so, so, so much. I'll see you guys all in my next video. Hey, Dua. Hey, Dua. Goodbye. Adios. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And hey, don't forget, I'm still a freaking bulldozer. It's like the, I've never done my intro that bad. Mwah.